hone in on the NL Cy Young Award. Uh, you could go back actually to 2011, the first time Clayton Kershaw won the Cy Young, first of three. Then Max Scherzer kind of took over. Then it was Jacob DeGrom and Corbin Burns with a 2 3 1 ERA last year. He could easily do it again with a big second half. Uh, there have been just like a handful of guys that have owned this award for a 10 year stretch. Back here with Dan Plesak. Is the NL Cy Young conversation getting a facelift? Because it looks like there oh, are three oh. guys that have entered the conversation that we didn't see coming. I don't have a vote, but if I did right now, slam dunk my number one pick right now, Santi Alcantara with the Marlins. In my opinion, I think he's the best starting pitcher in Major League Baseball because he's doing things that we haven't seen in a long time, and that's going deep into games, eating up innings. He has like 25 to 30 innings more than the next closest rival in that NL Cy Young Award race. And that means something, Greg. We have three guys that this close to the All-Star game have a sub-2 ERA. Take a look. Your NL Cy Young candidates, Corbin Burns on the right side of your screen, does not fit that profile. He's got an ERA of 2.31. Still very impressive. Over 85 innings. The most surprising pitcher on this graphic, would you not agree, is Tony Gonsolin with a 1-5-8? No question about it. But the more you watch him, the more you like. Had a chance to watch him last night. Good split finger, strike thrower. They don't ask him to be a finisher, but he's eaten up innings. He's went from a reliever, opener, to now being a very reliable. And do they need him? With Walker Bueller on the show for six to eight weeks, having a bone chip removed from that right elbow, Gonsolin has been a revelation. They've needed him, and he stepped up big. It's so funny when you hang out with former pitchers, which stats they look for first to evaluate a performance. You always go for hits per innings pitch. I do. It's the first thing you go for. So based on that, Tony Gonsolin in 68 innings has given up 35 hits. Astounding. How do you explain that? Uh, and, and what makes it even more astounding is the era that we're in now when you watch a game and you see that box on the TV. For the most part, Greg, you need to be close to that box or at least on the edges of that box. And I don't think you ever think of Tony Godzlin as a guy that's like nasty stuff. But when you look at this graphic, I mean, we're talking about you could put his stuff up with the best in the game of baseball. He throws strikes, he throws it over the plate, and he's in incredibly hard to hit that tells you that's how good he is right now and he's always been good um, in 210 career innings he's got a 2.44 career ERA but you still think at the moment Sandy Alcantara is the front runner for NL Cy Young. I, I do I think right now Sandy is the best starting pitcher in Major League Baseball if I had to win a game and my life depended on it right now and let's say hey you're no bullpen allowed you want a guy that can take you deep into games Right now, without question, I would vote for him. He, right now, in my opinion, is the best starter in the game. His last eight starts, 5-0 and with a 0 0.99. It's hard to beat that, Greg. Now, his ERA is a, a hair behind. Uh, Gonsolin Musgrove is also uh, in front of him with a 1.59. If Joe Musgrove throws a no-hitter tonight against the Philadelphia Phillies, could that get him back into the lead? No. For me, right now, our counter is number one. He's number one. I'm just sticking with okay. what I believe. All right, all right. I'm going Alcantara number one. What about meaningful games? Does that matter to you when it comes it to does. Messiah? Because I does. thought what Zach Wheeler did last year down the stretch, dragging his team into contention, I know they didn't make I thought he was shortchanged in the Cy Young goal. I, I'm with you on that. Because I think innings mean something. And he had significantly more innings than Corbin Burns. I'm not saying enough to win the award, but that award should have been closer. And I didn't have a vote, but if I did, I think I would have won Zach Wheeler. Mm, that's interesting because right now, Alcantara is along the same lines of Wheeler last year. He is the horse, the ace and the horse, which you like.